Hi, I'm Chris and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I noticed that it is easy for virtual assistants, freelancers, and service providers in general to navigate the digital space if they are focused in one or two industry to work on. And I believe that this applies or this is also an important key point for new service providers to remember. But how exactly are you going to find the best or the right industry for you? Especially if you're just starting out. And I'm going to address that question for this video, so stay tuned. So in my last video, I talk about the skills that you might already have and that you can leverage to kickstart your freelancing journey or your freelancing business. And today's video, I am going to talk about how you can find the right industry for you. Again, as I have said earlier, that it is really important to know what industry you want to work on or start working on as you just started navigating the freelance industry so it can help you optimize your profile and your pitch and also help you curate the best offer that you can pitch to your clients and i'm going to give you three things to consider the first one is knowing what to do the second one is doing what you love and the third one is being comfortable at what you're doing so let's start with knowing what you do so when finding the right industry for you to work on you also need to evaluate yourself of what kind of things are you very familiar with or are you knowledgeable about let's say for example you have a background in real estate or maybe you have a degree in medicine or engineering or maybe culinary or health and wellness those are really good reference for you to start and see if those are something you want to work on or love working on so that is number two doing what you love after evaluating number one which is knowing what you do you go then to the number two which is doing what you love let's for example say that you have a lot of background knowledge maybe because it's your hobby or maybe because it is something you took up when you were in college or it is related to your past job or jobs then you can then take those or list them out if you have a notebook right now and proceed to number two which is ask yourself if any of those things or any of those background knowledge that you have is something that you like doing or you like digging into or you want to pursue as a career that you want to pursue in a long-term setting so if you have listed five then narrow them down narrow the list down to something that relates into what you want to do or what you want what you love to do let's say for example you graduated as an engineering student but you are actually into fashion you like you like reading magazines you like watching america's next top model but when you went applying for jobs you got hired as marketing specialist in a real estate company so there's like three things that's going on in there which is the real estate engineering and the fashion and you found out that you really want to pursue fashion so then you have the industry that you can pick from the three list which is fashion now the third one is if you are comfortable in working in the fashion industry now most industries are really good to work on but there are people who are also sensitive in some part of work for example there's an adult industry that some VAs also work in because they are comfortable working in that particular industry. If you love fashion and you know a lot about it and you are also comfortable in working in that industry, then there you have it. You have narrowed down all the list into 
one particular industry now I'm not saying that you can only choose one if for example you really can not decide between the two industry that you have narrowed the list down after checking those three factors then that is all right you can just create maybe two separate portfolios or pitches or offer and start testing which industry works better for you loved your portfolio or the materials that you can provide when pitching to your potential clients and those are the things that i'm sharing for you today again don't forget the three factors to consider when looking for or when deciding for your industry number one is knowing what you do number two is loving what you do and number three is being comfortable of what you're doing so i hope this video is helpful for you and if you have not decided on what skills you want to focus on and specialization that you can take as a VA. You might want to watch my last video as it talks about the basic skills that you might already have that you can leverage when launching your freelance journey or freelance business. So that's it for today. If you love this video, again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you have some thoughts you want to come across, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And if you want to share this to someone, feel free to also share it or even tick that notification bell. See you on my next video or videos. Bye!